Aslan ko viewers how are you this is Ishan here I am fine and hopes that you are also fine there Today I am going to teach you about the permission and it is the part 2 of my lecture series and the part 2 is regarding the command set facl and get facl commands So move forward set facl is used to set permission on a specific group or folder Uh, the set of acl utility sets access control list of files and directories on the command line a sequence of commands is followed by a sequence of files which in turn can be followed by another sequence of commands and so on it has two main uh, switches which are dash m and dash x the dash m the modify switch options the mo modify the acl of a file or directory ACL entries for this operation must include the permissions. And by the way, the X uh, option removes ACL entries. It is not an error to remove an entry which does not uh, which does not exist. Only ACL entries without the perms fields are accepted as parameter unless the positively correct environment variable is defined. a uh, positively correct environment uh, uh, positively underscore correct will be written as in capital words so next slide is about get official uh, uh for example copying the acl of the directory named x to y for this firstly we should know the acl of the directory named x uh, to obtain this value we will write get facl space x For example, we want to know about the user permission group permission on any specific folder. So we will check its permission or view its permission. So we will use this command get facl. So if we want to check permissions on X folder, then we will uh, use the command get facl space X and its file format will be uh, like this. That its file is uh, X file name is X. What is the owner name? What is the group name? Uh, what are the permission have been uh, allowed to the users and what uh, permissions have been allowed to the groups so that's why these two commands and are very important in this lecture and we will check at uh, these command and how to view these commands in the command terminal we will write this command as set f acl <coughs> minus m minus m stands for modification u user ali it rwx on data folder that all permission allowed for ali on the data directory or folder set facl minus m u ali u stands for user dash 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 in the last lecture i have told you that dash 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 stands for no permission that user have no read write and execute permission on the folder if you want to apply this permission on the group folder then we will write the command set facl minus m g small g is used for group application that we have a it group and it has full permission on the share folder so to apply this commands we will move to our command terminal which is in the which is installed in the linux operating system we are in our terminal command prompt now which is installed in the linux operating system now we will write the command uh, set f acl first of all we will make directory mkdir in on in the root folder with the name of finance file exist or folder exist so it is already exist we don't have any need to create any directory so we will set permission on the specific user which uh, name uh, which has been set with the name of zen set f acl set f acl dash m as i have told you earlier that it is for modification on user zen and zen has full permission on the finance folder so we will check whether zen has given the right or not we will switch to zen user 
so uh, we will create a file in the finance directory uh, you can create this directory in any directory whether this is home directory or bin directory or etc etc directory for test purposes so i have created this directory in the root directory and in this root uh, under this root directory we will create a file with the name of test dir test dir you can name any you can uh, name this file with uh, any name like test dir 123 or 123 1234 so we will check whether this file has been created or not we will go to the folder now you can see that test dir has been created test dir has been created now you can see that we have full uh, uh, permission on this directory so we will once again switch to root user demanding the password now we will repeat the command once again set f acl set f acl dash m on user zen with no any permission there that is we are not giving any permission to read write execute to zen on finance folder so once again we will check whether this directory whether zen has permission to create read and write a file in the directory or not switch to user zen now once again we will touch or create a file in the finance directory and with the name of test 2 sorry I have written a wrong uh, spelling finance finance I have written finance sorry create a file in the finance directory under the root directory with the name of test 123 permission denied so permissions have been applied that you have no any kind of permission have been applied on the user Zen you can read write execute any file or folder with a specific user on different folders so this is just for test that I am a user Zen. I have been given the permission to read write execute a file on the finance department if no permission is allowed to me then I am I would be unable to create execute read write the file in the specific folder there are many uh, combinations of this command also many combination you can test this command with many combination that you can execute the file you can write a file you can save the file so that you will know this is the just a simple step to check whether the permission have been uh, uh, allowed to use a zen or not so the same would be applied set f acl on the group also g colon i have a group uh, uh, with the name of uh, for finance also that finance group has the permission on the finance folder under the root directory obviously finance would have a complete permission on the root uh, finance directory f i n a n a n c e so the permissions have been applied also and you can check this permission with the command get f a c l get f a c l finance now this is the format i was talking to you that the file name is finance owner is root that it is created under the root directory group is root obviously group is root user have full permission on this rwx which user and user zen has no permission on this that all user have read write and execute permission on this folder but zen has no any kind of permission on this folder 
because I have applied this permission earlier on Zen folder and finance group has full rights on this folder also you can see that RWX so guys this is the lecture today I have told you about set FACL and get FACL commands please try this command in your homes and make some other different combination with different directory name with different permissions with different executable files also my purpose is just to show you the command just to uh, teach you the command purpose what is the command purpose what is the syntax you have to understand the syntax if you don't understand the syntax you would be unable to execute the commands so please guys understand the commands understand the syntax i have i have just taught you the syntax not the full command there are many uh, other combination of commands under this command it is just a simple basic command so you have to try you have to uh, search on google you have to work hard for your system administration portion if you are a student you will get good marks you will take a scenario and you should test that scenario whether you are able to apply that scenario on your <coughs> exams or not due to this you will understand the syntax and you will get the good marks in your exam if you are an undergraduate student and this is very valuable for the fresh graduate if they are hunting for a job for the system administration in linux then it is very fruitful for them and it is the basic question in their interview that what is the get facl command and set facl command and how did you apply this command on your uh, uh, last job or on your exam so you should have some examples in your mind so that there is should no uh, ambiguity in the examiner's mind or interviewer mind that you are unable uh, to do the job in their an organization or not so best of luck guys for your interviews for ex for your exams also and i hope that you ha really have enjoyed my lecture today so before going to the uh, end of this lecture i will give you a test scenario which is you should make a folder with the name of finance department or with the name of some other uh, directory and second part is that you should deny permission on all user but apply the permission on the finance group so how would you apply this please comment this scenario on my video so that i can check whether you have understood my lecture or not so you should apply this scenario as soon as possible thank you guys for your consideration before going i would request you to subscribe my channel technique training like and share my videos press bell icon for new updates so please guys subscribe my channel please so that new updates will soon soon be available in your email addresses or your facebook pages and i have made a facebook page with the same name of technique training i would share the the link of that facebook name in the my uh, video also thank you very much guys allah hafiz